Ed of Long Beach, California. You'll meet Katie and these other children today as we play the game of kids and definitions. Child's Play! And here's the star of Child's Play, Bill Cullen! Thank you. Well, thank you for your unbridled enthusiasm. <laughs> and welcome to Child's Play, the game in which children define words that grown-ups try to guess. Hey, this is the week, in case you haven't been with us uh, in this past four days, we are beginning our new $5,000 turnabout game. The children we just met are all going to be back later on in the show to try to help our players, the winner of today's uh, game, go for the real big money. Right now, Join me, will you not, in making welcome our players. First of all, our current and new champion. This is her second day. She's won $900. Her name is April Ortiz. Welcome back, April. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. What do I know about you? You're, you were a dancer. You teach dance. Is that right? Were a dancer? No. Are I'm still a dancer. Oh, I, th I thought you didn't <laughs> teach today. until you... I thought you didn't teach until you were in the past tense. You mustn't say that ever. No, no one <laughs> no, ever no, was. No, I'm still, I'm still a dancer, and I'm a dance teacher in my spare time when I'm not working. And there's not much spare time, right? Because you're busy all the time. Uh, every minute. <laughs> Let us say hello <laughs> to your challenger, Cindy Horst. Hello, Cindy, and welcome. Hi. What, the, what do you want to tell us about you, Cindy? I live in Bakersfield with a wonderful police officer. I have two daughters, Crystal, age 7, Becky, age 21 months. I teach tap and ballet to little ones, and I'm a gymnast as a hobby. Well, that complete with dance teachers. That's a little happy to have you with us. Okay, if you're both ready to start the game, we are ready to start the game. We will begin the guessing as we usually do with our champion, that's April. For the audience at home and here in the studio, here is the word we'll be playing for. Everybody sees this word but our players, and of course these young people we have asked to describe the word. For instance, here to begin is an eight and a half year old. Name of Jason Telford. The word please, Jason, old boy. Th this is some buzz buddy that works kind of like works for a bride. And it's like somebody that is like when they go in the dressing room and get on that big thing that goes over your head. I don't know what it's called. But they help them and they put on their makeup and everything. I don't like it because it's too gushy. Gushy it is, Jason. If it's gushy, you don't have to like it. It's gushy as far as Jason's concerned. What is it as far as you're concerned? Uh, I'm going to say that he's talking about a dresser. Good enough. I not quite good enough, but Not good. Good as far as it went. Cindy, keep in mind what you just heard and listen to this added information, which is imparted to us from a New Jersey young lady, Nikki Simpson, who's eight. Nikki, dear. Say somebody's getting married and she got about seven of these and they walk behind her in these kind of dresses and hats and then the music is playing and they just walk along and walk along. And walk along, and walk along, and they just keep walking and walking. And then once they get to the end, then he's this man there to meet them that they're supposed to like their partners. And then everybody comes up by the altar. Then they say, I now pronounce you man and wife. And then, then they start throwing all this rice. But the rice is raw. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> oh, I'm very really glad it is. Really happy about that, Nikki. Okay, based on what you heard, what do you think the word is, Cindy? Boy, Bill, that was a long aisle. Yeah, <laughs> that, what? It was, the word is bridesmaid. It is, and they walk along. <laughs> You're right, it was a long aisle indeed. Cindy has a point. We play child's play as the time is up, and whoever's ahead at that point wins $500 and a chance at $5,000. We'll be back with child's play in just a moment, but now we're going to walk along and give a chance to this. The Money Store, where America goes for money, is one of the sponsors of Race for the Numbers, the interactive game between game shows weeknights during prime time here on Game Show Network. Do you know you might be spending double what you need to for your life insurance? American Republic Insurance Company has a breakthrough buying system for purchasing low-cost, high-quality term life insurance. $30 a month, just a dollar a day, buys $369,000 of coverage for a man age 35. Also, for a dollar a day, a woman age 35 can buy 430000 of coverage, rates guaranteed level for 10 years. Call for your free custom quote. 
Call 1-800-358-3544. Nobody knows more about homes than Century 21 Home Improvements. Hi there, I'm Carrie Whitaker, and a few days ago, this was a tired old kitchen. Hard to believe, but thanks to a process called cabinet refacing, Century 21 Home Improvements has made it beautiful again for substantially less than custom kitchen remodeling. This video explains everything, and it's free. Why waste it? Reface it. Refacing begins by removing your old cabinet doors and drawer fronts. The finish is taken off, and the original framework covered with matching laminate. Then, new cabinet doors and drawer fronts are installed in your choice of style and finish. They can also custom build cabinets, countertops, even center islands. To find out more about cabinet refacing from Century 21 Home Improvements, call now and receive your free video. There's no obligation, so call today. Want to see more? Well, call for the free video, and you'll see how Century 21 Home Improvements can create the kitchen you want at a price you can afford. Hey, game show fans. Game Show Network wants to get you into the game. On the internet, go to www.sony.com and you'll get behind the scenes info and your chance to play Wheel of Fortune. It's fun, it's fact-filled, and it's all at www.sony.com. We want to get you in the game. Okay, got a one for Cindy. April hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure she intends to. Uh, let's get set for a new word. Gonna show the audience the word? Right now, if we can. Word is up there. We'll be, be starting with Cindy. But first, Cindy, you get an opportunity to hear a description. It is one of our regular little ladies. Her name is uh, April Armstrong, and she's eight. April. Um, they made this big thing about it. And she lives in a castle. Ooh. And she got all this money, 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 money. She's buried in jewels. She got, oh, she wears a crown. She is just buried in jewels. You see her magazines all the time. What's so royal about her? <laughs> <laughs> the opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the opinion. <laughs> oh, anyway, based on what you heard, Cindy, what do you think the word is? Well, if she's been in the news an awful lot, this is Princess Diane. You're right. You picked up another point. Okay, score is two for Cindy. April has a zip at the moment, but we're going to start with you, April. Next word coming up for the folks at home. Here's the word we're going to be playing for. Oh, boy, we have another team. We formed these teams out of some of our regular children. They do it very well. Chris uh, Casamassima, who is seven, and Stacy Moyer, who is five and a half. Chris and Stacy, the word, if you would. Well, personally, I think it's a, a girl or a man. Mm. Well, really, it's mostly a lady. Um, and what? Would you please get over a tiny bit? <laughs> I'm almost on the edge. I am on the edge. Why? Well, yeah. Um, I, I think it's like um a person who does um other work. I don't know if it's harder or easier. My dad has one. Well, um, they could fall in love. Okay. I mean it's. Okay, like it could be snap, it could take two years. It depends if they really like each other or not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling we got more of a description than our dad bargained for. <laughs> Based on what uh, you heard, April, what do you think the word is? Well, I think that it's dad's secretary. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Good. Good. Right. Very good. Two to one is the score. We'll begin with you, Cindy, in a moment. First of all, here it is for you folks here in the audience and people at home. Word is up there. Everybody sees it but our players. It will be described for Cindy by seven-year-old Christy Simpson. Okay, Christy. I play softball, and my friend, she always picks me on her team, and our team loses. <laughs> but when I'm on the good team, we, we win. And we go, we won, we won. And then every, everybody that lost on the other team, they go, we lost, we lost. <laughs> and um, so we're, we, the one winners are having this much of this word. Okay, Christy. Tell you. 
I'll tell you, not bad. What do you think, Cindy? Sounds like the winners are going to have a lot of fun. Fun is the right answer. You picked it out of here. <laughs> Very well done. Three for Cindy. April has not. April has one point. She's going to try to make it two. We're going to be starting with you, April. Here it is for people in the audience, both at home and in the studio. Uh, Jessica Nolan, who is six years old from Los Angeles here, is about to describe this word for April. All right, Jessica. Well, my dog, Max, every single time there's a ring at the door, he comes barking, and when the person opens the door, he comes going <laughs> all around the person, and when I come home from school, he starts doing the same thing that I say, slow down, Max, slow down, don't do that. All right, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> All right. The ball is in your court, as it were, April. What do well, you think? Well, I'm going to take a chance on Sniff. Good chance. Sniff's right. Good you job. picked up good one. Job. Have a good game at this moment. Three for Cindy. April has two. We have another word coming up, and people might want to see it, so we'll give them this opportunity. <laughs> there it is. We start with Cindy in just a moment. Everybody knows what the word is, except our players. It will be described by Chris Biro, who is seven and a half years old. The word, please, Chris. It's like when, say, a person's walking, and another person's walking with him, he leaves him alone, like, you know, we just leave him, say they're walking in the desert, right? And the, and the person who's the boss, he finds um, a thing, and he finds something like a treasure, right? And so the other guy has something he needs, like a rope, right? And say there's like a, a whole cave of things, like, you know, rocks, and they're coming down, and like, you know, he says like, says, um, like, uh, if you give me the treasure, I'll give you the rope. And he gives a rope, but instead he doesn't, and he just gets out of there, and he leaves him alone. Thank you, Chris. Well, I don't know what you intend to do with that, Cindy, but do the best you can. I'm not sure what I intend to do with it either. <laughs> um, if he's walking in a desert, and he's going to give him something, and then he trades it for something else, Quickly. And then he gives it up. Um, <sighs> I'm just going to say trade. Trade. Not bad. Okay, we're over to April now, and we have a further description of the same word. It is Heather Smith. She's nine. Same word, please, Heather. Like if you had a child, and then you didn't want him anymore, and you just put him on the steps or something. Oh. And you say, I don't want you anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Two descriptions, both of the same word, approached from different directions. What do you think, April? Well, it's something I would never do, but I think it would be to strand somebody, to be stranded. No, strand, oh. strand is good, but that is not oh. it. Now, keep in mind what you heard and what is not correct, Cindy, because now we have more description for you. Eight-year-old Tiffany Woodring. All right, Tiffany, word. Like if you had this dog and you just took the dog, put it in a car, and went way out in the desert. And you just put the dog out in the desert and drove away and just left it there. Um, or if a couple were married, and then one morning the lady wakes up and she finds this note saying, um, I, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm never going to see you again. Thank you, Tiffany. Some of, these, some of these descriptions are marvelous. All right, what do you think the word is, Cindy? Well, I'd never do this to a dog, nor would I ever do it to my husband. But the word's abandon. It is. Abandon is the word. Well played, both of you. The score, Cindy 4 and April 2. We'll be back with our fast play round, but right now we have a message for you. See you in a little while. Hi, I'm Nichelle Nichols, and I want to introduce you to a new and different kind of psychic service. It's called Psychic Encounters. Now with Psychic Encounters, you can develop a personal bond of trust with a psychic who understands your needs and can help guide you to a happy and prosperous future. George Bloom called and won a fortune in the Florida State Lottery. 
Michelle Fabiani called and met her Prince Charming just a few days later. Callers to Psychic Encounters have been impressed. This was the best psychic reading I've ever had. It touched me more deeply than any reading I've ever had before. He definitely changed my mind about phone psychics. She was actually telling me things about myself private things. The psychic knows what she's talking about. In just a few short minutes, you'll get the answers you need. Don't wonder, don't worry, and don't wait. The answers are just a phone call away. Must be a team call now. The power of nature. It can turn your summer day it's into a funnel. nightmare of destruction Everybody when a deadly fight. tornado Sorry. strikes. Get away. Get away. Get away. Now, National Geographic video takes you into the eye of the storm in Nature's Fury, an incredible 60-minute You Are There video that captures nature at its deadliest. Call this toll-free number now to order Nature's Fury for only $19.95. Order now, and you'll also receive the best of cameramen who dare, absolutely free. This special television offer is not available in stores, and you have no risk as your satisfaction is guaranteed for your money back. So call now to get Nature's Fury for only $19.95 and receive your bonus video free. Call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-841-6767. That's 1-800-841-6767. Or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call right now. Time for fast play. From now on, each child will be defining a different word as soon as you recognize the word interrupt with your signal. Each correct answer will be worth two points. When you hear a school bell, time is up, and whoever's ahead at that point wins a game, $500, and a chance at $5,000 in our turnabout game. Both of you ready now to interrupt. Here's Brooke Schaffron with the first word. Brooke, dear. It's sort of like China. What do you think, April? Japan. Japan is the right answer. You got it. <laughs> On just a little bit. It's tied. Both of you now ready to interrupt. Here's Kimberly Daniels. Kimberly. You take them and you tickle people's noses. April again. Feathers. Feathers right. Score six for April, four for Cindy. Here's Brian Milch. Brian. Well, this thing sucks up a lot of dirt. It's April. Vacuum cleaner. It's right. Score eight to four. Cindy, you got to get going. Next word described by Philip Stein. Go, Philip. Big ocean liners. What do you think, April? A ship. Nope. Okay, the rest of the description is all yours, Cindy. Listen carefully, and Philip, pick up where you were. This. They drop it, and it sort of, like, digs into the ground under the sea, and it holds the ship in place. What do you say, Cindy? Anchor. Anchors right score, eight to six. Next word, Jennifer Posner. Jennifer? It's like a sheep, but it's a... Cindy? Lamb. Lamb is right. You tied the score. It's all tied up again. And with the next word, Devin Rattray. Devin. Well, um, what I'm talking about is sometimes it's used in, in birthday parties. April? A cake. Right. Oh, <laughs> right. Surprise to both of us. Ten <laughs> yeah. Here's the next one with Alexander Dean. If you would, Alexander. Well, it's something that you lay down on, and it's... April. It's a bed. No. Now, there's uh, some of the explanation okay. left. Cindy, listen carefully. Alexander, pick it up where you were. String. It's, it's made out of string, and it hangs on two trees. What do you think, Cindy? It's a hammock. It's a hammock, and it's tied again, ten apiece. <laughs> Temporary tiebreaker on its way, Lindsay Beamish. Lindsay. They pull Santa Claus's... April? Reindeer. Score is 12 Rain. to 10. Reindeer's right. Chance for Cindy to tie it again. Adam Richmond has the description. Adam? When you are this amount of years old... Wow. Age? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. We have uh, quite a bit left. It's all yours, April. Hear out what Adam has to say. Go, Adam. Well... In the Jewish religion, you have a bar mitzvah, and it's a number, the number after 12 and before 14. My golly, that's a good clue. Hmm, 13? All <laughs> right. <laughs> Score 14 to 10. That's it. Time's up, April. You have done it again. Congratulations. And come on over. That was a pretty close one there. That was a good clue.
After 12 and before 14, you can't beat that. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. You played extremely well. It was at 13, was 13 that uh, got you. We have some nice gifts. Thanks for being with us Thank on Child's you. April, to you, congratulations. You have a chance. You have 500 bucks. You're not going to get a chance to win 5,000 in our brand new turnabout game. And to help you go for the big money, here they come. Here come our stars. Five of our Child's Play children right here in the studio with us. We'll be back and meet the children, give them a chance to win 5,000 bucks for you on turnabout right after this message. Here we go. I'll keep talking. The greatest stars in television history appear on Game Show Network. Here's Bob Saget. Bob, welcome to the show. Bachelor number three. Yes. On the planet Venus, things are very different. A kiss will tell you the time, a hug will tell you the weather. What do you have to do to find out what day it is? <laughs> you have to show me your Venus flytrap. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a clever guy. See your favorite stars on Game Show Network. Jim, it says here that personal debt and credit card borrowing have reached a 10-year high. With rates at 17 to 18 percent, those payments could be enormous. That's right, Joni. But if you're a homeowner, the combo loan from the money store can help. With a combo loan, you can refinance your mortgage and pay off your high-rate credit cards and other loans. And the interest can be tax-deductible. So even if your credit is less than perfect, the combo loan can help you manage your family's finances better. The combo loan, available at the money store. Call 1-800-LOAN-YES. He's one of baseball's latest heroes both on and off the field. Setting the Ironman record of most consecutive games played, Cal Ripken Jr. has shown why he's destined for baseball's Hall of Fame. Now you can share a piece of this legend with the Ironman Collector Watch. This elegantly styled stainless steel watch is a unique limited edition collectible. This fashionable watch has an attractive micron plated brass plate for the hour dial. With the date Cal Ripken Jr. broke Lou Gehrig's record and the watch's collector number on the back. It all comes inside this unique leather-like baseball case and includes a matching certificate of authenticity. This valuable collectible will be sold during this TV introductory offer for only $69.95 on a first-come, first-served basis. To order your Cal Ripken watch for three payments of $24.63, call 1-800-341-4477. Or send check or money order for $69.95 plus $3.95 shipping and handling to Cal Ripken Watch, P.O. Box 2648, Grand Central Station, New York, New York. Or call 1-800-341-4477. You're watching Game Show Network, where Child's Play continues with Bill Cullen, followed by To Tell the Truth and The Match Game. So, April, you got uh, $1,400. That's good so far. Now you're going to get a chance to play our new $5,000 game of uh, Turnabout. We call it Turnabout for a simple reason, because the grown-ups have to now define the words for our children to understand. Let's meet the children, because they're an important part of this part of the game. They're an important part of the world. Uh, Julianne, introduce yourself. My name is Julia... Hello! My name is Hello. Juliana Stefano, and I, I am seven years old, and I live in New York City, and I'm single. Good. Okay. <laughs> Sasha? Hi. Hi. I'm Sasha Segan. I'm eight and a half, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. And by golly, there's Katie. Hi. My name is Katie Pulley. I'm nine years old, and I live in Long Beach, California. Hot dog. Christopher. Hi. My name is Christopher White. Seven years old, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. And Jeff? My name's Jeff McMahon. I'm eight years old, and I live in Woodland Hills, California. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you all. <laughs> you notice as the week goes on, they, get, they keep patting their parts all the time. Now, we're going to show you seven words, one at a time. You have to define them so that these children will say the word. Now, if you get stuck, you can pass, and we'll come back to that word if there's time. We pay $100 a word, get all seven, and you win $5,000. Now, the children are going to be with us all week. They divide $100 for every correct word, and if they get all seven words, then they split $1,000. You'll have a total of 45 seconds now on the clock. Going to begin with Juliana. Don't start until you see that first word, and I say so. Okay, now you ready? Okay, go. Okay, this is something you eat at the movies, and it gets... Popcorn! That's yes. right. Go to Sasha. New word. Okay, this is something that you do, and cars do it, horses do it. Right! And it's... No, they... they dun 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 Okay, pass. Katie, next. New word. Okay, this is a cab. And this is... It's driving on the street in New York, and you hail it. It's a cab. And you hail it. Yellow! And... No, 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 no. It's a car. What's it called? What's it called? Pass. Okay, Christopher, oh. new word. Okay, new this word. is what you wash yourself with. 
A washcloth. No. Soap. Okay. Soap, right. New word, Jeff. This is an animal that has stripes on it. It's in a the zebra. Zoo. Correct. New word, Julianne. Okay, this is the guy who says, this is what you do at your job. Your boss. That's yes. right. Sasha, new word. Okay, this is something the police do. Time is up. Time is up. Oh, you you oh had God. trouble. You had trouble, April, yeah. with race. I think what you did uh, with the William Tell Overture was sing away your chances. <laughs> Uh, a little shorter ditty would have stood you well. The cab kid taxi. were the word we were looking for for taxi. So it was missed on race and mixed on taxi. Four words right, add four to what you've already won, and you now have 1,800 bucks. You'll take on a new challenger when we're back here again. We'll see you in a moment. Have a message for you. Don't go too far away. For patients who have wrinkles and puffiness under their eyes and don't want plastic surgery, I recommend Sudden Change Under Eye. It's a special cosmetic serum that removes the appearance of wrinkles and puffiness in minutes. Look, before sudden change and after, sudden change under eye, an excellent alternative to plastic surgery. Want to go curly and add fullness to your hair? Now you can with Wash & Curl Shampoo. Its curl enhancers work right in the shower. Your hair will look full and beautiful. Wash & Curl, the curling shampoo. So you've chosen to be your own boss. Running your own business means doing what you love and doing what you do best, except one thing you don't love one bit, doing the books. Well, now you can say goodbye to your bookkeeping hassles forever because the makers of Quicken have invented QuickBooks, the number one selling accounting software that makes it fast and easy to do the things you don't love doing, like paying bills, writing invoices, figuring out what your customers owe, even tracking inventory and doing payroll. QuickBooks makes it all hassle-free. How's this for fast information? A click. And QuickBooks shows you this quarter's income and expenses. And look, a few keystrokes, and QuickBooks does your invoicing for you, and then does the bookkeeping automatically. So you can get back to doing what you do best, growing your business. It's even easy to try QuickBooks. Call now to get a trial version absolutely free through this special limited time TV offer. That number is 1-800-219-5577. Thank you all, lovely kids. You won a total of 3,300, and thank you all for being with us on Child's Play. You'll be back, April, with us next time. Goodbye from Child's Play. If you like kids, you'll love Some Child's Some departing contestants received the GE Life Easy Self-Cleaning 2 Steam Iron with instant spray. Surge steam, dry and steam settings with 38 steam vents and tap water window and a portable radio for Magnavox's portable AM FM radio with tone control switch, telescoping antenna, illuminated dial, and 3-inch speaker, and a cookbook and new unsalted 100% natural Adolph's tenderizer. Life is tough enough, so tender it with Adolph's original or new unsalted tenderizer. And this compact, lightweight GE knife slices at any angle. Stainless steel blades have serrated cutting edges. The fingertip control bar has a safety lock. Wall mounting rack is included. And all of the children appearing on Child's Play this week will receive MGA Mitsubishi 12-inch portable black and white television with UHF tuning to Channel 83 built in antenna lightweight with increased brightness and contrast controls and earphone jack. MGA Mitsubishi. Our Coleco's Pac-Man official tabletop version of Midway's Pac-Man looks plays like the real thing. Coleco's Pac-Man, the arcade game you can take home with you. This is Bob Hilton speaking for Child's Play, a Markinson television production. Don't go away. The fun continues with another episode of Child's Play, heading your way here on Game Show Network. Your television is starting a brand new career on Game Show Network. <laughs> Discover jobs you never knew existed. And jobs you could only dream of. Well, when it's worn, does a lot of skin show? I think when it's worn, a lot of skin shows, don't you? See celebrities before they got really sweet film deals. Are you part of the entertainment world? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We oh, yeah. <laughs> and get in on the games as guests try to stump the panel. You know, I have a delicious feeling all over me that I know who this is. <laughs> uh, well, I was a rousing reception. Is this a beautiful woman? <laughs> that would be one, one down and nine to go. Get in on What's My Line. Weeknights on Prime Games, 1020-ish Eastern, 720-ish Pacific.